Hello everyone, this is Godzilla Wolf 1, and as you can see, what's before you is not a Transformer or Power Rangers, but something a little different, which if you I have done some MLP stuff before, but 95% of MLP's toy toys are not something I really care about. Like, I know there are toy collectors who um, collect all those, um, all the little doll, um, the normal dolls for them. I'm not one of those. I only like, really like the actual figures that look like the characters in the show. If you are one of those collectors, good on you. But that's not me. But thankfully, Hasbro came out with the Guardians of Harmony collection. Which is basically meant to be the collector line slash the we re finally realize there are boys that like MLP line. And, well, I'm actually rather impressed by some of these figures, and I've actually gotten more on the way, so I decided to review the first one I got. Which, I admit, not my favorite 100%, but still pretty cool, and that is the Chrysalis, I mean, the Queen Chrysalis versus Spike the Dragon set, which does not sound fair, like, at all, but... Gardens of Harmony, the comic, basically had a bunch of different things happen that gave the heroes power-ups, so maybe Spike is a lot better equipped for this situation than it looks like he would be. Um, but anyway, this is basically a collector line that came around ab uh, around the time the movie came out. I think they are planning to make more figures in it. For some reason, Rarity never got a figure, but apparently they were planning to make her one, so maybe there will be a... a another wave of them. But anyway, basically this is the uh, line that I actually care about collecting. So let's get started with a look at Spike here, who we're starting with Spike simply because while well, he's second in the title, he also kind of got the short end of the stick in this particular set. He's just a little minifigure. Um, he is basically just a figure who is actually pretty much in scale with Chrysalis. I would say that's probably about how big he should be. Um, basically, he is wearing armor based off of his dream sequence in, uh, I believe, Dog and Pony Show, where he dreamed himself being a night-saving rarity, which I find really cool. It is actually really well painted, detailed and painted armor. Like, it's actually a pretty nice little, um, suit of armor. I like that it even goes on his tail and everything. Also, he does have, um, holes in his feet for certain stands. And a lance, which is nice. No articulation. He is just a little statue. Uh, you can kind of move the lance around, but that's basically it. Bending. He has a cape, which are always cool. Um, does, to their credit, does make him look bad flank. <laughs> and I use bad flank because I don't cuss, and we're talking about ponies, so I can get away with it this time. But, yeah, um, nice little figure. I'd say he got gypped a little bit, but then again, he's also the $20 price point figure in his full-grown dragon form. So, yeah, this is just kind of a little bonus to give the set a little more value. The, of course, main attraction is Chrysalis. Well, I mean, Queen Chrysalis, who, until the mean six, basically completely wrecked her character... What is my favorite, one of my favorite villains? I think it's kind of between, well, no, she is my favorite villain. I don't care about the main, the mean six. I hate that episode, but if you liked it, no problem. I just didn't. But she is one of my favorite villains. And she is really well painted. Like, this is, of course, what she looks like. The gray chitin, I guess is what you would call it. Which is the appropriate shade. She has her holes in her legs, where they're supposed to be. Um holes in the tail. I wish her tail and hair were, like, translucent because in the show her hair is more translucent but it still was a nice um, blue color that is fairly accurate. Her carapace back here and the underbelly are both painted pretty nicely with a bit of a gradient. Very nice. Um, wings are translucent plastic. And I like her head. I like that cocky smirk she has. And that look on her eyes. Like, I know I'm, I like that is Chrysalis. She is vain, she is full, she has an ego, and she is a sadist, so that is an appropriate expression for her. And I like a bit of asymmetry in that, how her hair goes down differently. Gives her a bit more to do, and I like her dragon eyes. And of course her twisted horn up here, which I think is supposed to be a little more straight, but I kind of like how it looks here. So, yeah, and her little crown up there, which in the show we never find out if that's, like, actually a crown. It gets knocked off when she gets defeated in, um, 
her last real appearance between, before Mean Six, so I'm assuming it's a crown. In the show, too, in the comics, it was definitely a crown. But, yeah. Really nice. Like, she looks really good, and mainly I got this to have a nice, show-accurate-looking chrysalis figure. Because it's, like, villains don't really, like, in the main line, the villains really don't get any figures. Like, they don't get many figures at all. So, nice to have a full, like, figure of her. As for articulation, her head, basic, her head can go back, but it's spring-loaded. I kind of don't like that, but still, you know, it's for a gimmick. What can you do? Tail, ball-jointed, can move all the way around. Doesn't really have much side-to-side -side motion or up and down. It's either spring-loaded for some reason. Which I find weird. Uh, front legs, full three can do a full 360, can go all the way out. Um, they're they're kind of ratcheted, but nothing's really holding them. And she actually can hold herself up if she has one leg um, up. So you can actually pose her with um, one leg up just by being quadruped, even if it's the leg that's on the far side due to how her stance is. So you can kind of actually get her in a bit of a walking pose, which I find nice. So you can make it look like she's actually walking, which is not something a lot of figures can actually do, so kudos. Um, her, like, she has a knee joint, which, not full 90, but still gets a decent amount, enough to be articulate. And a knee swivel, so she can do very, she can do a good bit with her front legs, and she has enough articulation that you can get them off the ground. Um, wings are on ball joints, so they can move however you wish. You can have them down, you can have them up. So, nice. Her wings are nicely articulated. Hind legs, um, can do a full 360 if nothing gets in the way. Doesn't really help all that much, but if you have a stand, though, which, given how light, she's not that heavy. So, if you have a stand, you can get her into some nice poses. So... Yeah, overall, really articulated figure and much better than, like, for a collector who actually likes to do things with their figures and have them posed, this is a lot better than just getting the brushable main toys or the little minifigs. Also, I should note that her knee can go a little bit forward. <laughs> Not sure how helpful that is. It can go much further back, but you can actually get it forward, which, given that how they move in the show, that actually kind of is a benefit. So, yeah, overall pretty good articulation on her for this, um, well, basically for what I, I think the, this whole set, if I remember right, was about 12 to $15, which just looking at these two, I wouldn't say it was worth it, but she comes with a lot of accessories. Not all of them good, mind you, but a lot of accessories. The one I like the best, which, well, no, I, there's, well, this is still the best one, is this pin. It's basically, you know, a... A bit of a jacket pin you can um, put on your pocket or something. Which I think provides the only real changeling um, emblem I think we've ever gotten. Like the changelings really don't have a symbol in the show, so this is basically their emblem, which I find really nice and is actually a cool feature. And due to how it works, you actually can kind of clip it onto Chrysalis as maybe a shield or something. So if you want that or just to have her, you know, have her sigil on her or something, that is something you can do. I approve. I mean, I'd like it to be kind of metal like, you know, normal pins are, but it being plastic is still nice. Though I think it's just like a generic backing with the changeling symbol put on there. But I still like that we have a changeling symbol because I don't think that we ever saw that in the show. The rest of her, um, I'm going to go from least to best here. The... Least best good accessory is this helmet. Now, in the now this as a helmet design for Chrysalis works. I like it, but it doesn't really work all that well. Like you basically split it open and put it on her head, like so. And from some angles, it looks okay. Like from that angle, actually, it doesn't look too bad. Then. Oh. Yeah, not the best designed helmet. I think the problem here is this is basically designed to fit on her, like, on a head that actually does not have hair. And if you look at it from the behind, it's clearly, like, off-center. So I think they basically, like, what they should have done is, like, had it be a full head helmet and then have you be able to take her hair off. Like, that's something figure arts do a lot. 
I wish they'd done that here because this helmet, like from certain angles, it looks good. Like from that angle, you know, side angle looks really good. But from the front, it just doesn't look all that good. And like even the box knows that. Like even the box that depicts her with all of her accessories equipped doesn't have her have her helmet on. Also, the way this is set up makes it look like she can turn her head, which to my knowledge, she can't. Like, there is a picture of her with a helmet over there. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something here? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Because it looks like she can turn her head on the pack. Oh, okay, so she can get a little side to side out of her head. Like, not really, but... <laughs> Is she, are you able to pull this up or something? No. Then how do they do that? Did they just like... Okay, that's kind of disappointing. And the package makes it look like she has head articulation and she really doesn't. Like, it looks like she kind of does. Like, it looks like it's designed to s s turn a little bit, maybe? But it doesn't stick. Okay. I guess maybe the fact her head is just naturally at a bit of a slant. Huh. Okay, next up we have these two swords or knives, which are pretty nice. They fit her. Like, these definitely seem like knives or swords that Chrysalis would use. Thing is, like, the only way they can really attach to her is, like, right here, like, on her upper bicep. They can't actually go, and that's actually there, how they're depicted on the package. You can't, act, well, okay, you can kind of get them maybe down at her knee. But you can't get them where you would expect her to have a sword, which is, like, right down here. Like, unless you really stress the plastic, which I don't want to do. And that's kind of a disappointment. Like, I really wish there was ways to do that. Personally, I just view it as, okay, I have swords that I use for my telekinesis, so I'll just, like, have them sheathed on me, and then use them telekinetically, because she does have telekinesis in the show, so that would actually make sense. And also, weirdly enough, I don't know if this is just mine, uh, they're the same <laughs> sword. Like, it's two of the same sword. I don't know if they're supposed to be and one's a spare, but yeah, two of the same sword. But they are nice swords. Like, they do look really cool. And I think that if she could hold them or if you get, like, sort of a, a stand or something where you can have them look like she's holding them in telekinesis, they would look really cool. Uh, next up, we have these, which are kind of interesting in that they look like giant wheels, but they're actually Magic Blast effect parts. So you basically attach them to their horn, which actually does not look too bad to kind of symbolize her magic powering up, because that is the right magic color. Like, her magic color is a sickly green. Then you pull her head back, and... Not a bad launch. Like, not a bad launch for what you're doing. Like that did, like that did actually go pretty much how you would want it to if she was trying to blast Spike right now. So not bad. The, and you get two of these because inevitably you will, like kids would probably lose one of these. So not bad. Then, uh, then well, not lastly, there's one more accessory after this, but you get two of these, which are more armor bits. These work considerably better than her other ones. And basically you split them open like that, slip her foot inside, slide it up, and she now has four um, leg guards. Which these actually were in the Fiendship is Magic comic. The, and I think these actually might have appeared in Guardian. Okay, these are rubbery. So they kind of want to launch. But yeah, basically, you know, you put them on her legs and she gets armored up ankles i mean it basically gets foot armor which actually doesn't look too bad like if i wish she had more of it like i wish she had ones for her hind legs to kind of make it look more like she's wearing full body armor and of course you're supposed to have the helmet on but it doesn't i don't like the helmet but yeah i like these I mean, yeah, they add weight, so that might... Well, no, it doesn't actually throw off her balance. So, yeah, and these were in the comics. They were never in the show, but they were in the comics. And one more thing, at least, that the package says you can do is peg this into the, these, uh, into the side and give her, like, I guess, energy? <laughs> like, I guess magic blades is what I'd say these would be. 
in this case, I would say they're magic blades. So, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. And actually, it's kind of something that is kind of a cool little feature. So, yeah, you could have, pretend she has magical blades on her um, that she can produce, which she never does on the show, but it's a toy. Do what you want. And you can kind of get away with having the sword in that hole, so that kind of, that, I think that kind of works a little better. It's, I, well, I won't say it's a sword. Well, it could be a short sword. I guess it's more of a short sword. So you can't actually have her hold it if you use these, which is nice. So that's actually a fairly big accessory count for what you're getting here. So, yeah, of course, you can also pretend that if you want to be silly that she has roller blades on. I don't know why crystals would ever have roller blades, but you can pretend that she does. Lastly, and this is more just something that comes in the package, but with how it's designed, I feel this was intentional. Like, they don't tell you that it's included as an accessory, at least nowhere on the package do I see it. It just says includes two figures and eight accessories. Uh, let's, so, let's see, that would be these two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, it's not actually categorized as part of the count, but this backdrop in the pack that comes out of the packaging actually can stand up. It actually has a molded in staircase, and if you didn't weren't an idiot like me and accidentally damaged the tape, it can support itself. And if you, of course, you have something behind it. And you basically get a little backdrop for the figures, which I always appreciate when that actually looks good. So yeah, I mean, it's probably not intentional, but I do appreciate it. Anyway, uh, I don't, this is my favorite thing that the line produced, but it's nice to have a nice show accurate chrysalis. It's nice, uh, like Spike is a nice little well molded, well painted figure. I like how he looks. I like a lot of the, I like most of the accessories. I just wish that they, that these were molded differently so she could have them down there and without the armor on. Or even, heck, have her be able to, can you actually do that? Now I'm curious. Can you mold it, uh, have this go over her muzzle and have her... No, you can't. It would kind of actually been cool if they'd molded it so she could have it like that and be holding it in her mouth. But, yeah, no, they can't. You can't do that. Yeah, but still, they're nicely done swords. And if you can get creative with them, and you, heck, you could have Spike have, um, hold on to them, maybe. But overall, I like this fit, this set. I like having a show accurate chrysalis. I like having MLP figures that actually look like the characters in the show, even if some of them have some really crazy stuff. But overall, I really do like this line. I'm glad Hasbro did this. Thank you, Hasbro. Do more of this and give us a rarity so we have all the main six. I don't care if we ever get Starlight Glimmer. Just give us rarity so we have the main six. Uh, that's mean. Well, actually, no, we got a Starlight Glimmer. <laughs> like, we actually already got Starlight Glimmer. For the record, I like Starlight Glimmer. But, anyway, this is a good set. I recommend it if you can find it for an affordable price. Uh, I think that most of these go for fairly cheap on eBay, right? I mean, on Amazon right now. That's where I'm getting the figures that will be coming and being reviewed in the coming weeks. But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And consider coming to my weekly, my bi-weekly live stream. It's Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, assuming real life doesn't decide to screw that over. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye! I still don't have a catchphrase.